Welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith, and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, how to watermark your video. There are two main reasons why you'd want to watermark. One is for protection from copying, another is just to identify them. We all, we've all seen them. It's a little station identification down in the corner, which would be this corner right here, where you might be seeing video revealed. Now, I actually do that inside Premiere Pro. I just stick an Illustrator file on its own layer and take the opacity down. But what if you don't want to go to all that trouble to re-edit something? Well, you can add a great little watermark instantly inside Media Encoder. So Adobe Media Encoder can accept video files, uh, Premiere Pro sequences, and After Effects comps. Let's go have a look. We're going to be working on this video, and to see this video, I'm going to click on either this part here or that part there, and it will open up and show me a visual representation. This helps me place that watermark. We're going to be in the Effects tab, not the Video or Audio tab, but in the Effects tab. And in this section here, Image Overlay. Turn that on and pick any file, either a ping file, JPEG, Photoshop file. I find Photoshop files are easier to work with because they're live, editable, and transparent. If I need to change the font, the color, the text, you can't do that if it's a flattened JPEG or a ping. So just use native Photoshop files. So in the None, drop down, click choose, and I'll pick a file that I've already been working on. And we can see that the file comes in and it completely hides everything. If we go look at the Photoshop file itself, the Photoshop file has that graphic over a background layer. So obviously I don't even need the background layer. I can turn that off and save it. And I would have saved this originally as that format just so you get to know um, how you can get something transparent. And when we come back to Media Encoder, this will not update. We need to clear this out and reload this again. And sometimes you might have to click this on and off to kind of shake the transparency in there. So now we can see I created the original Photoshop file as an HD frame. You could create it just as the size of the graphic. The graphic is 100% at its original size. Over on the bottom right, you can move this very quickly to the bottom left, bottom right, and then resize it from there. But even if we go back to the center, you can use these XY offset controls to drag them into place. So I'm just going to move this down a little bit further into the bottom corner. And I'll take the size down a little bit, and visually you can see that size, and then move that over back into the corner. And then, of course, transparency. We'll take this down so you can still see it. Maybe make the size a little bit bigger. Okay. Uh, you could also go through the video to see how it looks across all of the frames. Most importantly, once you've come up with a watermark that you like and you think you're going to reuse in the top of the export settings this button right here save preset so I'll call it my watermark click OK and now it's there when I click OK again we're back into media encoder and to process that video I'll start the queue and you can see down here in the bottom it's starting the queue and out it goes when it's finished, we'll have a look at that and make sure it plays back appropriately. There we go. I'll click over here on the output file, double click on that, and you can see there it is, it shows up. Now, what's important to note is that I saved a preset. The preset was not just the watermark. It was also the video and audio compression settings. So if you happen to have this turned on to something smaller, maybe YouTube 720p instead of 1080, and you actually want to output 4K, uh, you're going to actually change all of that. So let's say that I was creating an... Uh, a 1080p and a 720p and I both wanted watermarks so I'm gonna to have to create two presets and then easily have them on there but now I can drag and drop any video choose that preset and watermark and protect my assets 
All right, hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe button for video reveal. If you're not already in a Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best. Thank you.